Hello Pisces, welcome in. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. We are here doing your June 2021 new love reading for all of our singles out there. Uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome in. And if you're returning, welcome back. And I'm truly grateful for all of your wonderful energy, your likes, shares, and your subscribes. So just a reminder, this is a general reading, not a one-on-one. -on -one, so not all the messages that come out will apply to everybody. Just take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest behind. So let's see what we've got here. Thank you very much. All right, first card. This is uh, your overall energy for your reading. And this is Tarot of the Heart, uh, Major Arcana, specifically for love and romance. And the first one out is we have Charity. And let's see what is your challenge for the month ahead. Thank you. And we've got the Emperor in your challenge position. <clears throat> Excuse me. And okay. And in your outcome energy there, we have the chariot and the hanged man. All right. So the charity energy, I almost called it the chariot energy, uh, the cha uh, charity. Okay. This is uh, an extra card in these, in this deck. It has faith, hope, and charity. And charity is all about unconditional love. All right. You are open and you are ready and you're ready for that new love. Um, in your situation, okay, you're calling it in. You may have done a lot of um, healing, a lot of self-care throughout uh, the last year or so. And uh, you've done a lot of personal growth as well. And so you've just got this energy of where you are ready, you are open, okay, and you're ready to welcome in that new love, okay? So it really is um, quite beautiful here in this situation, all right? So love having that open heart. Okay. You might feel a little vulnerable. <clears throat> all right. While you're, uh, you know, while you're, uh, putting yourself out there. Okay. But, um, you know, you certainly are ready and you are worth it. That's for sure. But we've got the emperor coming out in your challenge position. Okay. So, um, there could be somebody, uh, that you have been dealing with that is, uh, trying to control you in some sort of way, trying to dominate your situation. Okay. This could be, uh, like an ex, like your, um, you know, your ex partner, your ex spouse. Um, you know, you may have children with this person. You may not. Okay. But, um, you know, whether they are still within you, your, uh, physical world, um, and are around you, you might, you might have to deal with them every day, or this could be someone from your past that you still need to release, right? Someone that, um, you know, is just kind of like lingering, energetically around you. Okay. So, um, but if this is something from your past that you need to release, this could be, um, you know, an old relationship where someone is still kind of stuck in the back of your head. Okay. And they may have been with the emperor being in this particular position. They may have been domineering, controlling. Um, they may have been, um, you know, a little bit, uh, rash, unreasonable. Okay. And it just could be like, you're ready for a new love, but there's just something energetically there that you're still, that you're still tied to. You're still attached to. This could be something that goes all the way back to a parental figure. Um, something that has, uh, kind of lingered in your love life and, um, has affected how you deal with relationships, how you deal with people, how you deal with commitment. Okay. So it could just be something that you just need to um, address within yourself and you need to release, uh, there. Okay. There just could be also some energetic ties that you need to let go of. All right. Um, do some cord cutting meditations and stuff. And, you know, we do say it all the time, um, especially when we're reading tarot, but believe you me, it really does work. Okay. Because anyone that we've been in a relationship with, whether it's intimate or not, um, everyone believes energetic tides, energetic cords to us. And it's very important to cleanse our energy. So there could be something there and you'll know when you're successful at it because you'll actually feel freer. You'll feel um, more alive. You'll feel a little bit more in control. All right. And sometimes you need to do those meditations um, more than once. All right. But there's tons of them out on YouTube. There's some that are like, you know, 10 minutes long. And even if you have to do it um, a few different times, especially if it's someone you've been intimate with, um, you know, you can still, um, you might need to do it more than once there. Now, if this is an ex person that you're dealing with, someone that's, <clears throat> you know, still kind of hanging around and, uh, you know, I mean, you know, they just might be, you know, they might be a little bit manipulative. Um, you can still do a cord cutting meditation. Okay. So that they don't get under your skin. And, <clears throat> you know, even if you have to deal with them, um, you know, 
when you do those cord cutting meditations um, after every interaction with them, um, you're continuously cleansing their energy from like sticking to you. And uh, so what happens is that they actually lose the ability to have any effect on you. Okay, they can't affect your emotions. They can't affect your energy because you have put up um, that block and you're just, you know, they just can't really uh, dig in deep. All right, so you might need to do that. Now, the emperor is also about stability, okay, and about, um, you know, a, founda it's a foundational energy. So, you know, with this being in your challenge, you just may have felt out of control a little bit, felt as though the, um, the world around you is a little bit unstable, and you've just been a little bit unsure of your situation and finding new love, right? And it's certainly not, um, not a... Um, it's certainly not a surprising energy. A lot of people are in that, right? Where it's like the, the world, you still feel like you're on shaky ground. It's like, ugh, God, do I put myself out there? My, you know, my city is starting to open up and first it opens up and then it shuts back down again. And it's just kind of like, you know, you might feel as though you're on a little bit of a roller coaster, okay? Rather than your feet on the ground there, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, uh, depending on where you are, what country that you're in. All right, but your outcome energy here, all right, once you uh, do get your bearings, okay, um, we have the hanged man and the chariot. So the hanged man is about uh, going within, looking at things from a different perspective, um, looking into uh, into yourself for a little bit of enlightenment in your situation, right? And it just feels like here, um, coming out with the chariot, it just feels like, you know, after a brief period of introspection, all right, that you have the ability to move forward, okay? And it's almost like, um, it's almost like clearing your, <clears throat> what do I want to say? Clearing your path to find new love, okay? So um, you're just, especially if you're feeling a little bit out of control, it just feels as though you're ready to move forward, okay? And there is this energy of moving forward with speed and abandon when we've got the chariot there, okay? But it just feels as though before you really kick it into high gear, you're just gonna be like, hang on a second. Let's just get our ducks in a row before we really put ourselves out there, okay? Let's just make sure that we're, that everything is safe. Let's make sure the coast is clear. Like, let's make sure that we know what exactly what we want, okay? And then we'll move forward. So it's just that little, little bit of a time out there, but certainly one that benefits you, okay? Certainly one that's by your control, okay? You are in control when you take this hanged man time out, all right? And, you know, it's like instead of being out of control, you're getting yourself back in alignment and you're taking back your control. All right, when we've got that. So really very um, positive energy there. And then look out world, here you go. Okay, here you go. This is Cancerian energy here. <clears throat> and this is um, this, I mean, I gotta say out of this deck, the headline, the tagline on this one is ruling passion. All right, so you've got a fire burning deep within you, okay? Yes, you're looking for love, okay? But you're like, man, I really like some chemical attraction here. I'd really like some passion um, in my relationship, right? I'm, you know, I don't want anything kind of boring or stodgy, all right? And, you know, you certainly want a little bit of adventure and you want, uh, you know, to kind of put some passion and some fire back in your life here. But this chariot is about you moving forward with speed and success, okay? And moving towards your love wish, all right? And moving towards, you know, you may look, you may be looking for some action-driven people um, when we get this, okay? But um, you are certainly moving towards some like-minded people. It's a time of increased energy for you as well, okay? So put that energy to good use. Now the chariot as well could possibly represent some travel in your future. And uh, you, you know, even if you're not looking to necessarily travel, you may or may not be able to, okay, you might just be looking for that little sense of adventure or you may have the opportunity because the chariot sometimes can represent a car. Um, you might be uh, considering a road trip. Okay, go out for the, go off on a weekend or something with your um with your friends, especially if you can't like do any air travel or anything like that right now or go on a longer vacation. Um you just might be uh looking for that getaway. It's just what the doctor ordered, right? So and there certainly might be that in your near future for you. And you never know what happens when you go out and have some fun and you go on a little road trip. Sometimes great things happen for you. So let's just see what else we've got for you. What else does Pisces need to know, please? New love for June. New love for Pisces, please. What else do we need to know? Thank you. Ooh. 
and we have Ice King energy there. Okay, so now Ice King um, for one. Okay, there's a couple of different energies that come out um, with this one. In this particular deck, there's the Ice King and there's the Ice Queen. All right, um, to me, they're a matched couple. <clears throat> um, but with this Ice King energy, this could be somebody that you are dealing with um, that's challenging you right now that is very cold, they're very distant, okay, and uh, their words just really cut to cut you to the core, okay, or at least they try, okay, at least they try, but do those cord cutting meditations, right, take back your own personal power, your own personal control, all right, so that they don't have any emotional effect on you, all right, so it could be someone uh, that is speaking to you that way. But also with this um, Ice King card, um, it's not uh, not necessarily anyone that's, um, you know, being cold or icy towards you. Okay, this does represent an older person, though. And this can represent somebody that you may need to seek advice from or that you may need to talk to. Okay, it could be a father figure, okay, a parental figure. And uh, it could be someone who you either need to clear the air with. Okay, there's someone that is uh, lingering in your energy there. You might need to clear the air. Or this could be someone completely different who, um, you know, it, it, uh, offers some words of advice, some wisdom. Okay, so the Ice King is very wise. All right. Um, and a great communicator as well when they want to be, if you don't want to, if you don't piss them off. All right. But um, this could be someone who has some words of advice and wisdom for you um, that help you move forward. Okay. This could also be um, pot uh, potentially a relationship with an older person. All right. And, you know, someone who is very mature in their dealings with relationships. They don't necessarily wear their heart on their sleeve, but they are a great communicator and they're very wise. Okay. So that could be um, a new love interest there for you. And now we also have Dating Queen. Look at you. You are so ready to get out, right? You are so ready to, you know, um, to have some fun, have some adventure, get out there and date. And, you know, it all starts with a date, right? And it just feels in this, uh, with this card here, that there are a lot of potential suitors. I mean, this is represented, um, you know, with a queen, this is represented by a female, but hey, male or female, it's all about the energy. And there are a lot of people clamoring for your attention, right? Beaten down your door. Um, you have a lot to offer, you have a lot to give. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> a lot of singles all over the world are ready to get out there and date, right? So uh, it feels as though you may have a lot of options. And we have young male coming out here as well. Okay, so we have an older person and now we have a younger person. Okay, so for those younger viewers out there, this could be a potential uh, love interest. This is typically in this deck represented by someone around mid 20s or maybe a little bit younger okay uh this could be someone that is in college university going to school okay could be certainly a potential love interest um you you may also have a young male a young adult male if you um have kids okay this could be um an adult kid that you have an adult child okay although i guess if they're an adult child that's i guess they're an adult but anyway <laughs> um but this could be someone you might be an empty nester a recent empty nester right you could have been you know you could have gotten divorced or you may have just uh, sent your uh, sent your child off to college or university and, you know, now you're ready to date. Okay, they may also, um, huh, okay, that's interesting. Okay, thank you. Um, they may also, by the way, if you're sending them off to college or university and if they have like a friend or a dorm mate of some sort, um, that Ice King could possibly be uh, a friend from school who that might be their parent okay who they may actually because uh, this young male may play a role in your love life okay um you might actually um they might actually be setting you up on a date with that person but we have true love coming in here for you as well okay and when we get this true love energy this is a gift from spirit a gift from the universe and this is absolutely beautiful for you okay so really do really do love this true love energy okay so there is a beautiful true love coming on in here for you it fills you with happiness joy this beautiful connection between you and another person all right and you know here's the thing when you open yourself up okay there's your open heart when you open yourself up to love and you, um, you know, you call it in, you attract it right back to you. Okay. So really beautiful, really positive energy for you there. Okay. So let's see what else we have for you. So what else does Pisces need to know? 
What else does Pisces need to know, please? Uh, the Emperor is Aries energy, by the way. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. Um, if I forgot, I apologize, um, but it's there. So uh, let your friends help you <laughs> ask for and accept support from others. So I'm actually going to put that on the young male um, energy, okay, because um, for some of you there, I feel that young male might actually have uh, something to do with your love life, okay, have some sort of impact or maybe like a little bit of a conspiratory uh, kind of energy there. But if that person is not um, for you, then, you know, your friends may actually play a role in your love life of some sort. Maybe again, maybe you go on a vacation with them, maybe go on a little bit of a road trip. All right. Or you just might, um, you know, you just might be letting your friends know that, hey, you know what, I am single, I'm ready to mingle. Let's get me out of here. Let's get me out there. Right. And they may have, um, there could be a setup or something there for you but we have heart to heart conversations here as well honestly discuss your feelings with each other all right now this can be someone new coming in this can be heart to heart conversations with a friend okay this could be um with someone that you ask for some advice from or someone that you need to clear the air about something with okay so um have heart to heart conversations uh the chariot is about passion and we have passion coming in here as well all right, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, okay? So <clears throat> loving that energy for you. You've certainly got some passion in your near future here. So let's see one last message. And what do we have? And we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. All right, so here's that kind of that travel kind of energy coming back out on here. Okay, so, um, you know, you may uh, you may just be have felt a little bit overwhelmed in the worldly energies that are going on and you're just looking to have a little bit of fun. So you might be doing that road trip, getting away from things, turning off the TV, um, you know, powering off your cell phone and uh, just going out and having a little bit of fun and spirit wants me to get one more, one more message, please. What else do we need to know about new love for Pisces, please? One more message. One more message. Nope, not that one. That one. There we go. Ah, all right. That's why. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. All right. Whatever it is that's blocking you, holding your back, even if you have to deal with your ex, um, you know, in regards to finances or your kids or something, okay, you can still release the energy, okay, so that they no longer have an energetic hold over you, okay, so it's time to do that. All right, so let's pull your tarot and let's just see what we've got for you else. So messages for Pisces, please. New love for Pisces. What do we need to know? Whoa. Okay, thank you very much. <clears throat> So we've got the Queen of Arrows and which order? This one. Okay, thank you. We have the Three of Coins and we have the Prince of Cups. Oh, look at that. All right. Now the Queen of Arrows, uh, in this particular deck, the Queen of Arrows is actually um, associated with Venus. All right. Now it's not, not typically uh, the Queen of Arrows is the Queen of Swords, right? not necessarily the uh, card that we would associate with Venus, right? Because the Queen of Swords is known for being a little bit of an ice queen all right very much like that ice king energy there okay and it's one where you know usually you associate that with um logic intellect okay um you know uh very truthful very honest conversations right but it's not usually one that queen of swords doesn't usually wear her heart on her sleeve however that queen of uh queen of swords um, really does have a big heart, okay, but it's usually um, beneath this little sword of protection here, right? It's like, hmm, a little bit of a cautionary energy, okay? So, you know, this, uh, you know, this is coming out as your energy here. It's like you're open and you're ready for love, but you're also just a little bit cautious there, okay? You're honest, you're truthful, you know what you want, you know where you want to go. You, more importantly, you know what you don't want, okay? And, um, you know, you just, uh, you're just being a little bit protective there of your heart as you should be. Okay. Even though you are open to new love there. Now, this is also a sort of truth. 
All right. Um, so, I mean, this one is, this particular deck is arrows, okay, and not swords, okay, but it just feels as though you have the ability to speak your truth, okay, and you also uh, do have the ability to cut off any neg anything negative that may hold you back from moving forward, okay, because you are open and ready for love, especially with that Venus energy there, okay. Um, that's also an energy of being very wise and being very intuitive as well. <clears throat> And so for some of you, that is that Ice King energy that you're calling in there, okay? And, you know, um, the the uh, I always associate that Ice King and that Ice Queen with the King and Queen of Swords, all right? So certainly um, a soulmate, uh, soulmate energy there. And with this Queen of Swords, this Queen of Arrows coming out with that Ice King, all right, some of you, that is your person, okay? That is who you're meant to be with. And you know, there's uh, a loving connection there, okay, but there's also uh, some great conversation, all right, that happens, all right, very great conversation, but there's also a very deeply intuitive connection there with that person as well, all right, so it's not just, um, not just on the surface, okay, there also is, um, you know, some passion and uh, some heartfelt energy that runs underneath, okay, but also that kind of intuitive connection there, that psychic connection um, between the two of you. All right, so we also have the three of coins uh, that is here also. Now, um, the thing is, is the three of coins is about teamwork and collaboration. And, you know, with letting your friends help you and, you know, you're, you know, with the chariot here, you may be going on a vacation, you might be going on a road trip with, uh, you know, with a couple of different friends. And um, that can certainly, um, you know, put you in a great place to meet with somebody. All right. Because you're, you know, when you're out and you're having fun and you've got a sense of adventure, um, you attract that kind of person right back. Your vibration is nice and high. You're having a good old time and you're having some fun. But you're also, <clears throat> excuse me, you're also in that three of coins energy in this particular deck. You're also manifesting. All right. You're building something. You're constructing something, building a life, building relationships. Okay. Working on your, um, on your environment. Okay. And, but you are certainly manifesting something new and you're looking forward to the next phase. So manifesting a new love, uh, into your life. Okay. <clears throat> and, uh, you're certainly being um, very focused on that as well. And, you know, but here we go. The Prince of Cups, this uh, relates to the Knight of Cups. All right. All about romance. All right. This is a time of romance and love and connections for you and your heart is open and you are ready to move forward. All right. And find your love, find your true love, find your romance, find you who you're meant to be with. All right. And, you know, this Prince of Cups, the Knight of Cups energy is very much open to love, just like this charity energy there, right? So um, really very positive place uh, for you to be in, right? So, you know, you may be ready, but again, with that emperor, <clears throat> excuse me, that emperor in your challenge position, um, you know, that could just be you feel like you're on a little bit of a roller coaster ride, or there might just be something that you still need to clear out there, clear out some energy. So let's have a look. Thank you <laughs> coming towards you. We have the Prince of Staves. Um, we also have the Seven of Cups. And we have the Six of Arrows. Okay, so someone coming towards you. This is for sure. <clears throat> now the Prince of Staves. This is Knight of Wands energy. All right, so there's certainly some prevalent um, fire sign energy here. All right, because this is... Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, right? Uh, the Emperor is Aries energy. All right, but I'm feeling more. Um, I'm not really. I'm not feeling anyone coming back. Okay, just uh, just so you're aware. Okay, it could just be like another fire sign. Okay, because this Emperor can also just represent feeling um, on rocky ground. Right, it doesn't have to be anyone that you're that you've dealt with in the past or anything like that. All right, <clears throat> but the Prince of Staves. This is somebody who is uh, very bold. Okay, um, very passionate. Okay, some passion coming towards you. All right, um, but certainly somebody, um, you know, who uh, loves ad loves adventure, um, loves trying new things. All right, and certainly loves to travel as well. And we do have a six of arrows that's here too, which is about moving forward. It can also sometimes represent traveling. Okay, so um, you know, for for those of you who are going on an adventure, going on a road trip. 
And this could certainly be somebody that you meet, okay, while you're while you're doing that, right? Um, you know, but even if you're not taking any travel, any kind of adventure, this is somebody, you know, who has a bold sense of adventure, okay, a lot of passion, okay, they are not necessarily, uh, okay, how do I explain that? <clears throat> um, they have a youthful energy, all right, and they may or may not um, be of a commitment-minded mindset, okay? Or they may not necessarily be commitment-minded, all right? Now, it's hard to say um, because this is the energy that they are bringing towards you, right? They just may, they just might be full of youthful vigor, youthful energy, um, you, know, um, you know, ready to get out there, right? A little bit impatient maybe, all right, but um, certainly have a sense of adventure, okay? Because this can be like an underlying passion, as well all right um and, and it's certainly something that can mature it's just this is the energy that they are presenting right now okay so they're just eager um eager beaver uh kind of energy all right but they are certainly imagining something okay the uh seven of cups energy this is um this is one of having a lot of options okay of trying to make a decision as well though a little bit of um daydreamer energy and um you know but it's one of uh, thinking about what they want, okay, um, because it can be one of, you know, having a lot of options, but really doing um, a little bit of um, kind of uh, decision making, okay, of what they want, where they want to go. They may have actually had their heart broken before as well, um, because there's a little bit of hesitation that comes with the Seven of Cups, right, of deciding to put yourself out there for new love or of searching for new love. And sometimes there's an energy of getting stuck in a little bit of analysis paralysis because there's a little bit of fear that may be associated sometimes with the Seven of Cups. What if I choose wrong? What if I get hurt? What if I get burned? Okay, so sometimes um, in that, in the Seven of Cups energy, someone can get a little bit stuck. And so, um, you know, but they're trying to figure out what their heart wants. They're trying to figure out where they want to go, what they want to do. So they may actually also be in the process of letting something go. Okay, of leaving something behind, right? Ready for something new and clearing out the cobwebs, so to speak there, right? Because we've got the six of arrows, which is the six of swords energy, which is about moving forward, leaving something negative behind, okay? Or leaving the past behind and moving forward to something new, okay? And they're moving towards you. Now, the six of arrows, six of swords can also uh, quite often be one of travel as well. <clears throat> okay, may or may not involve water, okay, but <clears throat> this could be somebody that you meet while you are on a road trip, okay, but this could actually also be somebody um, that may actually relocate. Um, they might be moving, they might move into your vicinity, they could be someone from overseas, um, you know, or just from another part of the country or something, and they may be uh, a newcomer to your area, okay, they may have, uh, they may have some opportunity with this Seven of Cups, um, to, you know, for a fresh start to move somewhere different. It could be for work. Okay. It could, or it could just be something that they choose to do. Um, cause they're not, uh, they're not afraid of forward movement. Okay. So, um, it could be that, okay. It could just be that they are moving forward with their life. They're leaving the past behind them and they're coming right into the present and they're coming into your realm. All right. And they have done their work and they have left anything, um, any kind of ghosts, uh, they have left them in the past, okay? And they're following their heart, and they are moving forward. <clears throat> so let's pull some more cards, all right? So let's see what your outcome is with you and this person. Thank you. And we've got the Ten of Coins. Well, there you go. All right, we have Temptation, and we also have the Ten of Cups. Whoa, baby. You, holy cripes, all right, <laughs> you are bookended here, you and your person, okay, with both tens, the best tens, all right, the ten of coins, the ten of cups, um, security, stability, happiness, love, um, good fortune, you name it, all right, happiest energies in the entire deck okay the only other happier one would be the sun all right but this is like two suns put together okay so it's an energy of completion like you've hit the finish line this is the big one all right this is your person where you have felt um where you have felt unstable all right here's stability with the ten of coins where you may have felt um you know as though you uh 
you know, as though you have had heartbreak, you have had loss. Okay, here's that 10 of cups. Here's that big one. All right, this is an energy of, you know, um, family, of stability, of long-term commitment, of longevity. Okay, the, wow, love those tens. Holy moly. Okay, it's like you've hit the jackpot. That true love energy that we've got floating right there, that's coming on in for you. Okay, something that can really go the distance. Okay, really opens the door to the future for you and puts you on the right path. All right. And now right, right bang smack in the middle of that, we do have temptation. Okay. So this is uh, devil energy. Now it could just very well be, okay. I got to say it could just very well be this person could possibly be a Capricorn. Okay. Or they may have Capricorn in their placement, right? Poor Capricorn. They get the short end of the stick sometimes when it comes to which, uh, um, which, which major arcana is assigned to them, right? Because it's like, oh man, I got dumped with the devil, right? Because it is the devil card. Okay. But, um, you know, it is about, uh, temptation. Okay. So, um, but there's also like a passion, um, that is associated with this too. So, um, you know, there's passion with that, uh, with that Knight of wands energy as well. So, um, no matter what your connection with this person, there is an underlying passion here. Okay. That, you know, is bookended with this stability and this love and this peace and tranquility. And, you know, it's really quite, um, it's really a very positive energy that I'm getting from this. Okay. And don't forget, this is new love, right? So, you know, new and new and, you know, um, um, so it just, it just could very well be that this person really is very, very passionate. Okay. And very irresistible as well. Okay. Um, but it does feel as though there is, um, potential for a long-term commitment here. Okay. This is like hitting the jackpot with these two tens, but certainly this is someone who is quite irresistible. You can't resist each other. You're like drawn magnetic attraction, um, you know, between the two of you, right? This is part, remember we've got the chariot over here, right? This is part of your destiny. Okay. This is, uh, but it's also an energy of victory and success, right? So it's like, you're meant to be, you're meant to be with this person. You're certainly drawn towards this person. Okay. Um, and you know, again, it's like, uh, ooh, it's like you, you know, at least, I mean, this is a new love reading. So, you know, where this would, where this would go, <clears throat> it certainly does look incredibly promising. All right. Um, but at least to start off with you guys, you just can't leave each other alone. There's just this magnetic attraction that you have with this person. Now there is a need when this temptation energy, when the devil card shows up, there is a need to keep a bit of perspective. All right. And that's where your hanged man energy comes into play. All right. Making sure that you keep everything in perspective. All right. It's like, yes, there's this, you know, this passion, there's this deep attraction. Okay. There's this, I can't, uh, I can't, you know, I can't stay away from this person. Okay. But at the same time, the hanged man is here to help you, uh, keep that step back. Okay. And to help you to, um, keep a little bit of a perspective on the situation and put up a boundary or something if you need to. All right. And just kind of helps you keep your feet on the ground. It, it feels like, okay. So, um, <clears throat> certainly not, uh, certainly not anything negative, but that hanged man is really there to help you in this situation, right? So that you don't get, um, <clears throat> so that you don't lose yourself in this connection, right? So helps you take that little bit of a step back when, and if necessary there. All right. Because of course the devil energy does sometimes come with some negative connotations, right? Um, you know, about being trapped, being ensnared. All right. But it's really, um, at this point about, um, pleasure. Okay. About pleasure. Um, you know, some sensual kind of lusty energy. Okay. Um, and certainly one with a lot of passion and a lot of fun. All right. So again, tap into that hanged man energy there as well. Just keep a little bit of a perspective, but wow, you've hit the jackpot. Okay. With this, that's uh, absolutely awesome. All right, so <clears throat> um, I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I'm starting to lose my voice as well. So uh, I'm going to close out your reading uh, with a couple of Lover's Oracle cards here. I'm actually going to get you three. All right, so last messages, please, for Pisces. What else does Pisces need to know about new love? Thank you. I'm going to take that one. What else does Pisces need to know, please? That one. Ooh, that one's jumpy. All right, and one last one. And there we go. That one's jumpy too. So we'll read this one first. 
and says, forgiveness, stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. Mm -hmm. All right. And we have, that's your next one. I feel like I've seen this one before and we have power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. There's that perspective. Okay, if you need to maintain perspective on something or if you need to let someone go, whether energetically, um, you know, or physically. All right, and then there's your last one. And it says, <clears throat> ooh, awesome. New beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Passion, 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 right? Lots of passion here for you. So I'm gonna leave that there for you guys, all right? But I hope there was something in here that resonated with you, gave you some wisdom, guidance, inspiration. If so, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment as well. Let me know how things are going for you. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous month ahead. Seriously. All right. It looks pretty good from, uh, from where I'm sitting here. All right. Um, so yeah, have a great month. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.